The best way to learn the major veins is to see how they match up with the arteries. A lot of times the veins are gonna be called the same names as the arteries, but there's gonna be about six or seven differences. Now I'm gonna follow them like they're coming off the heart, but remember veins are going to the heart and arteries are going away from the heart. So while the arteries are supplying blood to all the areas of the body, the veins are draining those areas and returning blood to the heart with waste products and of course to get more oxygen. So let's start with the uh, vena cavas here. So instead of an aorta, we have vena cavas. We have a superior vena cava and an inferior vena cava. Now the superior vena cava going up following the arteries, we are going to have a brachiocephalic vein on both sides now. Remember in the arteries we only had a right brachiocephalic artery here. But here the superior vena cava is a brachiocephalic vein and that's going to split into a subclavian vein and going up the neck and head instead of a carotid vein we have a jugular vein on this side we have a shorter brachiocephalic vein only right in here and sure enough that splits into a jugular vein and a subclavian vein now further up here, the jugular also has an internal going deep into the brain, draining the brain, and an external jugular. Now some models will show the internal and external as separately coming off the brachiocephalic. You just have to follow where they're going, where they're coming from. This is obviously deeper, internal jugular, external jugular. This is just called the jugular. Now let's follow it on this side because we have the subclavian vein. Now just like in the artery, that subclavian vein is going to become an axillary vein in the armpit area. And then it's gonna become a brachial vein. Now the brachial vein, they cut off here. You can see it right here. It would be right on top of this brachial artery and it would come on down. Now a difference here is we have two splits here, one up here going to the superior of the arm and one here going to the inferior of the arm. Now these may sound like weird names, but there's a reason for them. This branch here is the cephalic vein. Now cephalic means head, but what that means is this is the head side of the arm, superior part. And this little branch coming down the inferior of the arm is called the basilic vein because it's at the base or bottom of the arm. Remember the, the center one, the brachial vein, they cut off. So you only see a little tip here. Now the cephalic vein and basilic vein actually meet or joined by this little vein here, which I want you to know because this is the one where if you donate blood or you have to have blood taken for a physical, they take it from this little vein here, which crisscrosses the interior crease of the elbow. That's the median cubital vein. Because remember this bend here, the anterior of the elbow is called the cubital area. So this is in the middle, median cubital. And then of course, we're gonna have a, just like in the arteries, we're gonna have a radial vein and an ulnar vein. All right, so we've drained the head and the arms now. Now let's go down to the trunk. This is the inferior vena cave because it's coming off the inferior part of the heart. Now we're gonna also 
have some veins coming off the inferior vena cava just like we did the descending aorta but we're not going to have as many now let's look and see what we have well we definitely have the renal veins bilateral and we're also going to have gonadals which are not shown on this particular model but they would be right along they would be long and they go way down to the gonads here, draining the gonads. Now we're gonna get back to this purple one here. We're not gonna learn this one, but we're gonna get back to this purple vein at the end here. It's always shown in purple. Well, let's do it now. Because you're probably wondering, how come we don't have a gastric vein, splenic vein, hepatic vein? because we got to drain those organs, or mesenteric vein even. Well, we do have them. The thing is, everything that goes into your stomach, intestines, and even your spleen and pancreas are going to be entered into the liver before they go anywhere else. So you absorb food, absorb nutrients, um, all that material into your blood has to go to the liver first. And the reason it has to go to the liver first is it has to be detoxified. And the liver can also store material, break it down, build it up. So all of these purple veins are going to go into the liver as the hepatic portal vein. So let's see what we have here. We have this purple splenic vein. Stomach would be here. So we have the gastric vein. We have the mesenteric vein coming from the intestines here. Notice they all join here. So where the gastric, splenic, and mesenteric veins join and enter the liver, that's the hepatic portal vein. It means door, portal, hepatic liver. So a door into the liver is the hepatic portal vein. Doesn't start until these three join. And then we have the hepatic portal vein going into the liver. The liver will detoxify and metabolize everything coming into it to make sure it's safe. If you have something extra, it'll store it. It can even break down or build things. You'll find the liver can do many things. Once it's done with all that stuff, whatever's left and it wants to send the heart to get oxygen or spread things to the body. Still got to go back to the heart because the heart has the power to pump it. All that material is going to come back out the liver here. That's the hepatic vein. And that's going to go back to the vena cava, back to the heart. So I'll just go through this again. Splenic vein purple, mesenteric vein purple, gastric vein purple, joined to the hepatic portal vein going into the liver, and then blood coming out of the liver, hepatic vein in blue, could consider this hepatic vein too, back to the vena cava. All right, let's go down to the legs now. We have the same common iliac vein here until it splits into internal iliac, an external iliac vein. As soon as the vein gets down here, it's going to become the femoral vein. Now they broke it off between here and here. That would be connected and this femoral vein would go along the femur just like the femoral artery did. And it would go behind the knee and come the popliteal and then the tibials. Now this is not the femoral vein because it's not right on the femur. What this is, is the longest vein in your body, and it's called the great saphenous vein. And here, and the key to this vein is it's very medial, and it goes all the way down to the foot. So it's draining the foot, the bottom part of the legs, all the way up here. To the external iliac, great saphenous. Again, the femoral would go here and would follow the 
femur would go behind the knee and then it would split into tibials. So that's a tibial vein there. So that's pretty much it for the veins. I will just mention here at the end that these pulmonary vessels are the only vessels that are the opposite color of what you think they would be. Remember when we had the heart, we had this PAS system from the anterior to the posterior coming off the superior of the heart, PAS. Pulmonary trunk, aorta, superior vena cava. Well, this pulmonary trunk splits into two pulmonary arteries because remember the pulmonaries are different colors and they're called pulmonary arteries because they're going away from the heart. This blood is going away from the heart to the lungs so that the lungs can put oxygen in the blood. Pulmonary arteries branching. Once oxygen is in the blood, these pulmonary veins, one, two, three, four, are going back to the heart with oxygen. So even though they're red, since they're going back to the heart, they're veins, pulmonary veins, four of them go back to the heart to be pumped to the whole body with oxygen. So in the veins, we just had a few differences. We had jugulars instead of carotids. We had two brachiocephalic veins instead of one. We added the cephalic vein and the basilic vein. We added the median cubital vein. We have vena cavas instead of aortas, we said superior vena cava and inferior vena cava instead of one long descending aorta. We had the hepatic portal system here and we had the great saphenous vein. Okay, that should do it.